not only are we getting ready for that, we're also getting ready woo, for Easter. Yes, it's going to be here before we know it. So just in time for those Easter and spring brunches, we have one of the top pastry chefs in New York to provide expert baking tips and tricks. So joining us is Chef Michelle Palazzo. Thanks so much for waking up with us. Thanks so much for having me. So walk us through a little bit about what you have there and what makes this such a special time for desserts and pastries. So Easter just feels like a celebration of spring for me and springtime means new fresher ingredients to work with. So Easter is the perfect occasion for home chefs to try something new and really elevate their recipes by using their European style butter. I love that. So why is it important? I'm a huge thing, like I don't want fake butter. Like why is it important to choose those quality ingredients? Of course, so as an executive pastry chef here in New York, you know, I can tell you that quality ingredients do matter and better butter matters. You know, Peluga European style butter is made with that 82% butter fat, which is the French standard. Whereas a lot of the butter that we're getting is only around 80%. Where that 2% may not seem like a big difference, I'm telling you it'll create flakier crusts and richer results. And this really elevates my strawberry rhubarb eclairs that I make this time of year. That looks absolutely delicious. So I love to bake. Do you have any professional baking tips for me that would work at home? Of course. So first thing you want to use always unsalted butter for all of your baking and your cooking. And then we want to talk about temperature. So a lot of the times we are using things for like pie, uh, for uh, sorry, for cakes and cookies. We really want to use room temperature butter. And don't put it in the microwave. I know a lot of us like to put all of our uh, room temperature butter in the microwave to get it nice and soft. Don't do that. We really want to use room temperature butter. And then the same thing for like cold butter. When we're making things for like pie doughs and scones, mm -hmm. we want to keep that dough, that butter as cold as possible. Here's one thing I want to ask you. Unsalted versus salted. How do I know when to use what? Well, it's, um, I would say salted butter you really just want to use just to finish things. So like okay. spreading it over a baguette or toast, that's going to be your finishing butter. Unsalted butter is really going to be for all of your baking, all of your cooking. That's going to be like your day to day butter. Thank you. I threw that question in as a baker. I always want to know. So I really have enjoyed having you. Where can we go for more information? I can. So for more baking tips and tricks, you can uh, check us out at palura.com. All right. Well, thank you so much. We appreciate you waking up with us.